welcome to Sinking Creek Soaps. Welcome to our studio where I make bath bombs and soaps. Uh, today, we're here to show you one of our new products and kind of give you a little how-to on how to paint them. We have uh, some bath bombs here, and this is one of our kits that we're offering, and it'll have two bath bombs in it, and this is a unicorn and a mermaid tail. Uh, you may have a kit that has something else that's in it, but you'll treat them the same way, okay? So in our kit, we have two bath bombs. We have um, six colors here of paint. Five of them are liquid, and one is a little glitter, so it's gonna be dry, and it's supposed to be. Now, if you, maybe you've gotten this kit and you set it aside, you forgot about it, and, and for whatever reason, this may have dried up, it's probably not gonna happen, but if it does, you can reconstitute it with alcohol, preferably like a 95% rubbing alcohol. So that's real easy to do, okay? And you'll also have two brushes in here, just in case you wanna do it with a friend or at a party or something. Um, lay out maybe some paper towels um, and get you a nice clear workspace to work on. And you're also gonna take one of these paper towels uh, for each of you who are painting, if there's more than one of you. And just take a paper towel and fold it in a square, and I'll show you how we're gonna use that in a minute. The next thing we're gonna do is open our bath bombs, and you may wanna get a grown-up to help you with this. These are shrink-wrapped, so sometimes they're a little hard to open. I'm gonna show you how I do it. But before I do any of that, I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see what we're doing here. Did I introduce you? Nope. Aw, <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is Amy, she's my daughter-in-law, and she's gonna be painting one of the, she's gonna paint the unicorn bath bomb because she wants to, so we're gonna let her paint the unicorn today. So let me change this camera and then we'll get started, okay? Okay, so you can see our work surface here. Remember, we've got a paper towel down. We've got a folded paper towel here. Amy, you need a folded paper towel. Mm -hmm. I do. There you go. All right, first thing we're gonna, well, no, let's do this first. Sometimes these paints wanna, it's a little bit hard to open these. So go ahead and open your paints first because you don't wanna try to open them while you're painting because um, you might splash them everywhere. I need to save the glitter for later, huh? Yeah, I would wait. Again. I'm hoping these paints, they've got, oh, sorry. It's got two little tabs here. Hold down on one tab and then pull up with your finger on the other one. And it, this may be something you need to get a grown-up to do as well, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It, did that work for you? That worked for me. Okay. Yeah. All right, might take a little bit of work, so. But the reason I want you to open them first is because you don't wanna, you don't wanna spill them while you're painting, okay? Oh, gosh. You got yours open? I need, I need help growing up. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I got one open. <laughs> I'm ready. The next thing we're gonna do is open our bath bombs. Now I have a letter opener here, but you can use a pair of scissors. Again, get maybe get one of your grown-ups to help you with this. These letter openers are great if you have something similar. Um, and I, if you could find a little place where there's air and not a bath bomb and just kind of slit through that then it's real easy to kind of make your way through here and get that open up. Amy, you want to open your mm -hmm. phone? Amy's a grown-up. She can open hers. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> can I thought... open my paint, but I can open yeah, my Yeah, I thought that I could open mine, but... So, you see it takes a little bit there to open that up. You want to be real careful. You don't, Especially with this mermaid, it's got a... You don't want to break its tail off. So, <laughs> um, oh, and I got way over here. All right. Got my bath bomb open. I'm going to lay it right here. Here's your paintbrush. Thank you. If it has a little bit of dust on it, you can dust it off. You may see some little color through here. That's because they've got a little surprise color inside. <gasps> oh boy! What? <laughs> All right, and you've got your... All right, so what you don't want to do is you don't want to put a whole lot of liquid on here because it'll activate that bath bomb and make it go ahead and fizz. You don't want to do that yet. So, what you're going to do is... Um, Take one of your colors, whichever one you want. Kind of mix it with your paintbrush there. Mix that up. Um, see how it gets, uh-oh. See how it gets kind of um, pearly looking? Is that a good word, pearly? Mm -hmm. It is. And anyway, uh, so mix pearlescent. That's a great word. Anyway, <laughs> so you get a little bit on your um, brush here and then come over here and dab it so you don't have too much. Oh, that's what your paper uh -huh. towel's for. Yeah, that's what your paper towel's for. And then you can just take and start painting. Um, so, all right, so can you see that? Ooh, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look, Amy's already getting real fancy. Already. So, we're gonna go and, and, and put this in um, 
Are we putting it in? Time lapse. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put this in time lapse and get our bath bombs painted, okay? Amy and I have finished putting color on our bath bombs. That's not right. Amy's got her unicorn there. So now, <laughs> now it's time, if you want to, to put a little glitter on it. And the, remember the glitter is dry. Make sure you've wiped your brush off a little bit and then just dip it in that glitter and you can just brush it over the top and it doesn't take a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you have a glittery bath bomb that you painted yourself. Now, we're going to stop and um, take them inside and run a hot tub of water. And I'm going to show you what else they'll do when you put them in the water, okay? Thank you. 